with each seminar there's assigned reading. Um, so as it's a smaller group, sometimes the readings split between people. Like some, if there's a group of 20 and there's four readings, it makes for a nice little group and then people can discuss what each text is about. So it means people can focus more on their own one um, and then have discussions about how each of them compare and <coughs> contrast. Um, or sometimes everyone will have to do all the reading but get assigned a question. Um, and so there'll be groups and questions, which helps more with exam kind of revision if you're working with a question instead of just with the text. I think in first year everyone's still trying to find their feet a bit and a bit scared of like, do I say you think? Is that right? Is that wrong? And just hold their tongue a bit. But um, I think now I'm in the second year, people have started to get to know each other, and so it's a bit more friendly. People can have like a better discussion. But it's also key to have that element of group work because sometimes discussing your problems with others in, in relation to a particular part of your course really can aid your learning and getting different viewpoints can really make you think about what you're studying and strengthen your own arguments. Group work's great for um, learning to back up your points and, and be assertive with your views and not essentially get wall, um, walked over by other people. Um, so I think groups can be really enjoyable um, as it does bring um, several different ideas into one project and that can be really exciting but also they can be quite tricky and challenging in the sense that you know you have to make sure you all get on and um, just put a fair amount of work and effort into it so as long as you split the work equally and everyone's engaged then they can be really enjoyable. I think it's very important in group work for everybody to have their own jobs and then we come back and create the bigger, larger project, rather than everybody try to figure everything out together. We have um, what, what we call learning hubs. Um, so in, in this library in Hallwood, the levels one and two are very much set up for um, group study work. So everything's movable, you can move your chairs. Um, we've got plasma screens on wheels that you can move about. Um, smart boards, even the walls, uh, whiteboards that you can write on with pens. So it's all very much um, a bit of a buzz, a bit of work, working together. Um, whereas the levels um, three and four in Hallward are, are very different. They're quiet study areas, even silent study areas sometimes. But what we do have is a scaling by the end of by the end of the group project. So if we feel, if as a group we feel that somebody just hasn't turned up, hasn't made any effort, um, then we can scale them down, and that means our marks will go up while they will get a lower mark.